So, hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be updating you guys on my Pandos eyeshadows. So, I was debating not filming this video because I don't have the best progress in the world. All the eyeshadows that I rolled into this project in the last month, which was basically a complete re-roll, I've used less than five times. And I was really shocked because I've worn eyeshadow a lot this month. It's not just, you know, I didn't wear it for two weeks straight. It was, I did wear eyeshadow almost every single day this month. So I was wondering why the progress was so bad. And what I realized was that a lot of my shades, I cannot wear them together. So when I could, I did, but most of them didn't go together. I think I only had one matte as well. And I had other project pans where I was trying to focus on other eyeshadows. And I think that kind of screwed me over. There's going to be some changes to this project, obviously. And also I was testing out the... Okay, there was about a week and a half where I was testing out the Tina Young palette in the last month. Which I guess could have taken away like a week's worth of progress. But yeah, I feel like... After hearing myself say all these, I can see why my numbers are all pretty low. But let's get started. In the last update, I chose palettes that I wanted to work on specifically, so and then picked a random shadow for them from them. So the first eyeshadow comes from the Too Faced Let's Play palette. I was working on the shade multiplayer. I used this four times, so this is what it looks like now right here um it's very powdery i do not like this eyeshadow formula i feel like i've finally got the hang of these eyeshadows from too faced so this eyeshadow in particular is very glittery and prone to fall out but it's very light um consistency how do you say it it's a very small um, glitter. It almost seems to me like this eyeshadow just was not pressed right. But, you know, if I shake it, <laughs> the other eyeshadows don't fall out. So I don't know what the problem was. This eyeshadow, even though I only used it four times, you can definitely see that Like I had to use quite a bit to see anything happen. Uh, or to get anything on my lids. And... This type of eyeshadow from Too Faced works best with a glitter glue and I am really thankful that I have a glitter glue because it looks really pretty with that. But for the longest time I just didn't want to use this because it would not stick to my lids. So there would be like a couple particles on my lids and then a ton of fallout all over my face, somehow on my forehead. So yeah, I'm keeping the shade in this project though because now that I know how to use it, it doesn't. It takes so much to um, even get like visible particles on your lid. So I feel like I might even be able to hit pan in the next month. So I'm gonna keep it in this project now that I know how to use it. But oof, I avoided this shade for a while because I didn't like how it looked. So I even tried putting it all over my lid and like dusting all of the loose particles off and it still looked really bad like it looked like there was only a little bit sticking to my lid and it didn't really leave behind you know a lot of pigment or color like you know how a matte with a shimmer in it would the next yeah. eyeshadow comes from the Too Faced That's My Jam palette the shade I picked or randomly was called Spread It and I used it three times so it is this pink shadow down here. It's really pretty. Um, the first four shades here kind of remind me of the Aviation Arena palette. So that's kind of why I got this. I was not thinking. But I really like this eyeshadow. It's a matte and Too Faced mattes are all very, very difficult to hit pan on. So this is going to probably be in the project until the end of the year. I might not even hit pan on it, but I'm hoping that this summer season um, I can wear this a lot more and get 
a lot more use out of it. It's a very pretty color. I don't think I have a pink that is this color. Maybe I do now, but at the time when I bought it, I didn't have a pink like this. The third eyeshadow comes from the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. I have a lot of Too Faced palettes. Every other year, I buy their holiday palette, and it's almost always garbage. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I bought Pumpkin Spice. That was terrible. This one's actually not as bad as that one. The chunkier metallics in here are really prone to fall out. So the eyeshadow I was working on in here is called Want a Piece of Me. And I only used this three times. Including today, I think. It's on my lid. Here, let me zoom you guys in. Okay. So you can see it's like on my lid. I'm wearing my um, other palette that I'm working on in my regular project pan. Uh, so I have green all over my lid. Then I tapped... Uh, want a piece of me all over like up to the m middle of my lid on the lower third and then I did a it's gone <laughs> I did um, a V on the outer corner with spice of life from this palette so I guess I should show you guys what want a piece of me looks like so this is what it looks like I'm gonna hold it upside down because it's near so yeah there's actually quite a bit of eyeshadow missing. I didn't drop this or anything. This is literally their uses. This shade, like I said, is so prone to fall out. And I apply it with a brush because I don't want to get it everywhere, but I still get it everywhere. I tried to use this type of eyeshadow with my glitter glue. It was very heavy and very chunky on my lid. It held, but my eyelids felt so heavy and uncomfortable. I almost didn't want to work with this. But then, I think for one of my videos that I filmed, I actually did the exact same look, or almost exact same look, as what I'm doing today. And I really liked it there, and there's no fallout under my eye yet. Um, I'm hoping that the way I applied this eyeshadow makes it so that there's no fallout, <laughs> but maybe that's just a pipe dream, and I'm going to have fallout later. And I didn't do my eyeshadow that long ago, so... There's probably going to be fallout later on, but I'm actually going to be focusing on this shadow. I have in my notes to focus on this because you guys probably can't tell on camera, but this, I feel like I can hit pan in the next update. It's very similarly to um, the first palette I showed you. So I'm going to be focusing on this shadow for the next month and I'm hoping to hit pan on it very soon. The fourth eyeshadow comes from my Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 palette. It is the shade Driven. I used this twice, so I usually paired it with um, a brown eyeshadow. So it's this green right here. There's not much use on it because I only used it twice. I feel like this eyeshadow is going to be in here for the rest of the year as well, which is okay because it's a pretty versatile color. I do like um, metallic greens way more than uh, matte greens especially if they especially if they are a deeper color so yeah pretty nice color but I'm not really reaching for it because I feel like I should be focusing more on shadows that are more seasonally appropriate even though green I would be fine with wearing for most of the year okay the last two eyeshadows I'm actually going to take out of this project because I'm not a fan of them or well because one of them I don't really like and the other one I just don't want to work on. So the first eyeshadow is from Sydney Grace. It's called The Greatest Gift A Single. So it is this dual chrome right here. I only used it once. Um, I don't really like it that much. I guess just not for this season. Um, I don't really find myself reaching for it. I tried applying it all over my lid, like how I would for, you know, one and done with duochromes, and I didn't really like it. I feel like this is an unpopular opinion, but I feel like Sydney Grace is a little bit overrated. Like, their mattes are, their mattes are fine. Their mattes work really well. But their metallic shadows i haven't found one i haven't used one that i like really loved yet 
So maybe in the future if I do buy from Sydney Grace, I'll buy mattes, but I am more likely to go through a metallic shade than a matte shade as you saw earlier. Maybe I'll like it more in the winter or the fall because it is more jewel tone colors instead of right now where, you know, I want something that's bright, springy, pastel, or like coral, summer shades, you know? The last eyeshadow I have in this project comes from the Pixie and Tina Young palette. It was a shade after dark so i i was working on this palette a lot this past month because i really wanted to get like a very thorough review for my channel and i don't normally do reviews and when i try to buy this i didn't see any or i didn't see that many reviews on it i saw some but i just wanted to get my own opinion out there to help people potentially i use the shade after dark three times. I'm rolling it out of this project because um, it's a shade right here. I'm rolling out of the project because I don't really like the way it looks and it's a little bit finicky to apply. Like you have to be very precise because it is such a dark color. I thought it was green. It is not green. It is like black. It looks like it should be a, a deep olive color, but it, it's just black. Really strange. And I find that it doesn't really look good on my lids, and it's really messy, so I'm going to take it out of this project. Um, I know I've already taken two eyeshadows out of this project, and because, well, and I haven't used them five times, but I just don't want to work on them, so I have eyeshadows in my other projects that I'm working on as well, so I feel spread I feel like I'm spread out very thin on eyeshadows, so I decided to re-roll only one eyeshadow and try to keep five eyeshadows in this project pan at all times. I'm really hoping that in the next update I will have at least two, or at least one new pan, potentially two new pans, especially if I try to pan this look over and over again. Because of the way the Too Faced eyeshadow works, it is... Um, how do I say it? It's not powdery, but I feel like I go through it very quickly. And I'm not intentionally using a ton of it either. I don't like to use products more than I should to get, you know, a normal application because I just find that it creates a mess overall. And I don't like to deal with that mess and I hate fallout. So, yeah. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm not trying to overuse my products. So I actually rolled for my fifth shade um, off camera because I didn't want to waste time on camera rolling because I wanted to roll something that was a matte eyeshadow and something that was not pink, brown, or green because I am working on a pink in this project, I'm working on a brown in another project, and then another, and then green in my main project pan so it took me forever I'm pretty sure I rolled at least 30 numbers because I kept getting a metallic shade a brown because I have a palette that's mostly brown or um, a pink shadow I didn't roll any green shadows surprisingly so the eyeshadow that I landed on is actually a lid setting shade it is from the Too Faced pumpkin spice palette and it is oops, there's no name on the back. It is the shade Whipped Cream. Which is not quite the color of Whipped Cream. Maybe it is on camera. So it is this shadow right here, which is just a lid setting shade. Even though I'm working on a lid setting shade in another project, I'll give you a spoiler. I already hit pan in it, so I feel like there's not much left to it. So this is a spoiler for my graveyard project pan, but I do have pan in one of the eyeshadows that I was working on. So I would be okay keeping this in this project. I know it's boring, but I need boring right now because I have so many eyeshadows and this will give me like a little bit of a breather so that I can refresh for the next update, which this will probably still be in here by the next update because I need to finish that eyeshadow first, but it will be a lot easier on me than having to think about working on so many um, 
eyeshadows because this I can just use anytime I want under all of my eyeshadow looks to set my primer. But if I pull like a blue or something, do I have a little matte blue? I do. If I pulled like a blue, then I would have to think about, you know, what to pair it with. So yes, very simple choice. It's very boring, but I'm pretty sure I'll hit pan on it within a couple of months. So you can see pan. <laughs> anyway, that's everything. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a month. Bye. So it's actually not goodbye. I have some looks that I want to. Sh I have some looks that I wanted to show you, and so here's look number one. I'm pretty sure that this was using the Pixie palette, and I was using the shade After Dark on my lower third, and just like a gray color on my lid. As you can see, I didn't really like it because it looked very messy. Here's look number two. I'm pretty sure I just have the shade Multiplayer all over my lid, which is the shimmery pink shade. And it looks okay for this photo, but in real life, there was just glitter everywhere. I know it's too late, but please forgive the annoying warbling in the background. So for look number three, I have the shade spread it all over my lid. And then I have the shade want a piece of me, which is the metallic on my lower third. And I believe I put some darker purple in my outer corner. For look number four, I have actually what I was wearing in the video today. So I have... A lime green all over my lid and then I put the shade want a piece of me all um, up to the midpoint from my inner corner to the middle of my lower lid and then I finished it off by putting a little bit of purple like a darker purple on my lower lash line just a third of the way in but in this photo you really cannot tell so this is the fifth look and as you can tell I am living that mono lid struggle you know, where you have to put like a really thick band of color on your lower lid to get it to show just barely on your eyes. Anyway, I have the shade Bottoms Up from the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum Palette on my lid. And then in the lower third, I have the shade Driven from the Persona Cosmetics Identity to 